Hello to everyone. Our topic for today is how we can use Excel to conduct inventory count, in particular using slicers. Normally, if we are having to conduct our inventory count, we would have the product name and vending inventory. It would help if we have the product category column as well. This table has a list of inventory. I think it's around 290 plus inventory items all in all. So if we are going to conduct inventory count for this list of items, it will take us a long time to find the product name and then to, to type in the actual inventory count. So normally it would have another column here for the actual count and also for the variance. First, we'll turn this into an Excel table. Control T, my table as headers, click OK. For the variance, the formula for the variance is equals column D. Since we already have it in an Excel table, now we're getting the column references. So minus and the inventory. If I click enter, that formula will be copied all the way down up to rows 293. Now let's say we are in a store and we would like to type in the actual count, let's say for mushroom, then we would need to go to this, this, to this rule here and we will type in the actual count for mushroom, let's say 35. So we can see immediately there is a variance of negative one. So what if the product name is all the way down? It will take us too much time to look for those product names. So one way of expediting the inventory count is we can insert a slicer. Insert slicer. We can insert the product category and then the product name, those two. So if you know the product category of the inventory that you're Currently counting in, you can scroll it down. Let's say seafoods and from the agree seafoods, then all the product name would appear. So you can choose product name or you can just choose here from the actual table and then you can start typing in the actual count. Let's say catfish, they have 40. For crab, you have 50. For lobster, you have 30 and so on. After you finish taking inventory for the seafood, you would like to clear the filter. One way of clearing the filter is you can clear the product category. Or one way is we can go to, let's say we'll just filter something here. So it's now it's filter. We can go to home. We can go to sort and filter and this one, clear fi filter. To make it more accessible to us, we can just right click. And then we can add it to our quick access toolbar. Quick access toolbar. So once I click it, now it would appear here. Whenever my table is filtered and I want to clear the filter, I just have to select anywhere inside the Excel table and I just click this one here. Then I can take the next inventory count. So canned goods, then, I, then I'll start typing in the inventory count. Well, then I can immediately see my variance, so I can clear the filter. Another way of making the variance pop out is to highlight this and create a conditional formatting. Highlight sales rules, less than, let's say, zero. And then you can select the formatting that you want. You can custom the format, let's say red. Click OK. Click OK. For those red ones, if you would like to filter all those variances that are in red, you just have to right click and then filter, filter by cell color. Everything that's going to be filtered are those variances that are in negative. So that's how we can use slicers and Docker Inventor swiftly and fast. So thank you for watching and see you next time.